Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number seven. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to link to another page. I'm also gonna show you how to link to uh, another page on your site. So we'll link to an external page, uh, then another page on your own website. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to link to the exact same page, but just make the page scroll down a little bit. So, uh, I've got my text editor open and right now there is no text in here, but let's go ahead and add a link to Google. So to do this, I'm going to open up something called an A tag, which is an anchor tag. And then I'm gonna hit enter. And now you can see uh, I've got my opening uh, part of the A tag and I've also got my closing part of the A tag but Sublime also gave me this href attribute automatically. And that is because uh, whenever you link to uh, another page, you need a little bit of extra information in your A tag. And that extra information comes in in this href attribute. And so what this href attribute actually does is it tells the browser where you wanna link to. So right now, um, the href attribute is blank. There is no value here. Um, but I want to add in a link to Google. So what I need to do is actually type Google's address in here. So let's um, uh, type in Google's web address. But the thing is it has to be the full web address. So you have to type HTTP uh, colon backslash backslash www dot whatever the website is you want to link to. So in my case, I want to link to Google dot Come. Uh, and now we have a link that will function, but there isn't anything for the user to click on. So whatever you want the user to be able to click on to link to Google, uh, you need to put that text within the, or in between the opening and the closing tag. So let me type in, this is a link to Google, save and go over to the browser, refresh. Uh, and now I have my link. Let's just zoom in to make that nice and big and clear. So now I've got this link to Google and if I click on it, hey, look at that. It takes me to Google, right? Uh, so let me go ahead and hit back and now I'm back on my website. Um, and that is how simple it is to link to another website. You simply just take whatever text you want to be a link uh, and surround it in this little a tag and then make sure that your href attribute is set to that website and bam, <laughs> you will link to that website, right? So now let's take a look at how to link to another page on the exact same website. So to do that, I'm gonna need to make another web page. Uh, so right now I've only got my index.html page uh, which is my home page, and I need another one. So let's uh, go over to Sublime, File, uh, Save As, and I will just save this as second, unders or second underscore page dot HTML. Make sure that when you save this page or something that you're not using any spaces for now, um, because spaces are kind of not good. So let me hit Save. And uh, now I have index.html and I have second page.html. So let's, let's, uh, let's just make sure we've got both of these open in uh, Sublime. And I want my home page to link to my second page and then I want my second page to have a link back to the home page. Um, so let's just edit the text here. Um, I'm just gonna remove the href and I wanna put in a heading on the top of the page, just so we know which page we're on uh, at any given time. So this is the second page, and then I'll go to my home page and just, well, yeah, let's copy that, that header and uh, paste it in here. And we'll just let us know that this is the home page by putting the text home page there. Um, and then the links, I want to remove that and I want to remove, okay, well, let's, let's change the text within the link to say this will link to page two and then page two will change the text to say, go back home. 
So save that. Let's go back over to the browser, hit refresh. And now on the home page, I have a heading. Uh, just to let me know I'm on the home page with the link. Um, did I not save that? Let's just make sure I save it. Come back here and hit refresh. Uh, and now uh, the text says this will take me to page two. If I click on it right now, it's not taking me anywhere. Uh, so let's take a look at what we need to place within this href. Uh, so right now, because both of our files are in the same directory, uh, all I need to do is copy and paste the name of the file I want to link to. In this case, I want to link to page two. So let's just copy and paste that and put it over here. Now, if you have spaces in your URL, you have to, uh, spaces are kind of illegal um, to be up here in the URL of your uh, web browser. So that's why I said, please don't name it with spaces. Because if you named it with a space uh, instead of an underscore, then you'd have to replace that space with the text percent %20. Uh, of course, that's kind of annoying and I don't want to do that. That's why I stick to using underscores instead of spaces. So let's save this. Um, and then let's go over to the second page and just make sure we do the same thing here. So the link on the second page uh, that needs to link to the home page. Uh, so let's just grab the name of the home page and paste that in here. So hit save. Let's go back over to the browser and see if this works, right? So right now we're on the home page, and this link should take us to page two. Click on that. Great, now we're on the second page and this link should take us back home. So let's click on that and hey, we're back home. So now we can sit here and click and change between pages all we like. Uh, so that is how to link to another page on your website. Um, let's go back home and take a look at how to link to uh, the exact same page, but just further down the page. So to do that, I'm gonna work with only my home page instead of the second page. So let's just close the second page for now. And I want to just add in a lot of text. So let me create a paragraph. And here's a cool little trick. If you type and lorem in uh, Sublime and then hit tab, it will generate uh, a, te a paragraph of lorem ipsum. If you don't know what lorem ipsum is, um, this is just text that we use as filler content to make a website full of content if we don't have like words for that, that page. Often we use it uh, if you're trying to make a theme or a website that you wanna to sell to somebody but you have absolutely no idea what they wanna put on their website, you fill it up with lorem ipsum, All right? So now we've got um, a paragraph with lorem ipsum. Let's just copy paste that a couple times. Uh, it doesn't look very neat and tidy though. I should probably not waste time fixing it and making it tidy. But um, at the end of all of these paragraphs, I want to create uh, another paragraph. And this paragraph is going to be um, the paragraph we want to link to. So let's see, this is the text we want to find. I'm just gonna uh, type that in here. And then I want to give this paragraph something called an ID. So let's type in the ID and set that equal to, um, I don't know, uh, link to find. Make sure that you don't use any spaces or anything in here. And I'm gonna then copy that ID. And at the top of the page, underneath my heading, let's just uh, create another A tag. Uh, and then um, this will link to the bottom of the page. So let's just say go to bottom. And in the href, because I want this link to link to the text at the bottom, I just need to copy and paste this ID and place that in here along with a hash in front. Uh, so now that the href is set to hash and the ID of the paragraph I wanna find, which in this case is at the bottom of uh, the page, um, let me just save all of this, go back over to the browser, refresh, 
And uh, now I've got my heading and I've got all these paragraphs of lorem ipsum. Uh, but when I click on this link, it should scroll down to the bottom of the page and find uh, the, the paragraph that has an ID. So let's, let's test this out. Click and bam, there we are. It took me to the bottom of the page where I can see this link. Uh, for this to work a little bit more effectively, uh, maybe this link shouldn't be all the way at the bottom. Uh, so let's just uh, copy a few of those paragraphs and paste them there. And now, I mean, this content is really in the middle of, of nowhere. Um, let's come back over to, to the browser, just hit refresh. Um, and now let's hit this link. And as you can see, it's taken the text all the way to the top of the page, the text that we wanted to find. Uh, so that is how to link within the same page. And that is all I have for you in this video. So I'll see you guys next time. I just want to send a shout out to my sponsors at Dev Mountain. They run a coding bootcamp with courses on iOS development, UX design and web development. And they can teach you everything you need to know to get a job within this field. And they'll do it within 12 weeks which I think is a rather impressive timeline. So go ahead and check out their website. The link is in the video description. And if you do contact them, make sure to tell them that I sent you. Hey, thanks for staying until the end of the video. That really means a lot to me. Now, while you're still here, there are a few things that you can do to help. First of all, if you haven't already, subscribe and watch another one of my videos. And if you want to help me make more content more often, or if you feel that my content is just worth paying a little bit of money towards, you can check me out on Patreon. You can also check me out on social media. I will leave the links next to me. So go ahead and click on something and I'll see you guys next time.